the Jacobs installation, office of the former colonial magistrate. Arcturus's boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation. They seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mars Sarah is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet. And so are we. However, there is one thing that I would like to do before we leave. I want you that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederates' evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. Hello! And when we last left off, we had just had all of our refugees escape with the assistance of the Sons of Korhal, so we are now considered traitors. However, as is Jimmy, who was just broken from the prison ship that he was put on by the Sons of Korhal. But now, as the Confederates are abandoning Marasar because it's almost entirely overrun by the Zerg, we need to go into one last place to try and get some stuff. Specifically, an installation. This is an installation mission. Is the speed okay? The speed is not. Speed is okay now. Thought it felt a little bit slower. But, instead of Jimmy's vulture, he is actually just outside in his marine suit. As you can see, 200 health, 18 damage, according to the 40 and 6 health that regular marines have. That is pretty nice, and I'm going to try and keep him in the front because. Obviously, he is pretty strong, and I think, some, like generally, how these installation missions go is that if we have upgrades, the AI generally does not to make it a little bit easier and have your army survive a bit better. But if Jimmy, Jimmy starts with three health, and he has an extra three health. Hey, look, SCVs. Hey, that one moved. I'm guessing these are supposed to be the pilots, but those SCVs kind of moved, so it kind of breaks the attempted idea. And I'm not sure how they'd be able to emulate them not moving in this in 1997 or 8 or something like that. I forget the exact year. One of the two. Was there a tra trap in the wall there? There was a trap in the wall there. Yes, anyway. The AI generally does not have upgrades, and a standard marine does 6 damage. Jimmy has 6 armor, meaning he would only take 1 damage every time something hit him. Let's go up first, before we go anywhere else, and hope this is the right direction. If I remember, this level splits off in various locations. Or this was literally just a dead end. Oh, hello. Apparently a teleportation field. Maybe it's not a dead end. Forget about the teleportation fields. Oh yeah? Well, you're no longer allowed in here either. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm a terrible person. I'm killing defenseless people. They may be confederates, but... Sheesh. They don't even have a marine suit on. But apparently that was a dead end, and is to unlock security cameras. That I believe, oh yeah, has a ghost. A unit we haven't seen yet. Ghosts are actually okay. They're not actually frontline troops, in all honesty. But ghosts have a very interesting story behind them, which I think we might learn about. I don't remember how much you actually learn about ghosts in StarCraft One. Let's go this. Let's go on either direction besides the doors. Because I feel like the doors are where you would naturally be supposed to go. It looks like a massive entrance. But... 
Anyway, I'm guess I believe that is where it ends, and then we have two other areas. Get on. That's absolutely terrible. Two beacons. Ah, fire bats. Those fire bats are gonna be nasty, considering we're all infantry. Hopefully, we can kill them before they kill us. No. What? Come on, you don't even have marine suits on, and it shouldn't be. Shouldn't have that much health. A little bit excessive, game. Come on. Also, stairs. Really, really annoying. Can I just say that? I believe I said it in the precursor installation mission. But stairs are annoying. Hey! Security gun. Is there another security gun over here? Unlook it. It looks like this is actually oh, yeah. possibly a side thing, because that probably leads to, to apparently there's a ring in there. That probably leads to some hackshawed way to get to the end. Or wait, do, do these connect? I'm gonna check if these connect, because I'm trying to figure out how the map would be laid out, and I can't pinpoint. These connect. I have to. Oh, these guys were up. This would have been annoying to fight from the front. That would have been really annoying to fight from the front. They even had a Goliath and everything. Well then, I know that obviously I'm going in the right direction, I just went around in the right direction. So obviously there's some way to go around. And I was thinking there'd be like a little entrance here that'd slide through, go around to the front or something. I don't remember how these levels are laid out. I mean, I remember key parts, but... Ow. Rude. That was our first death. Automatic defense system deactivated. Does that mean no more automated turrets? The automated turrets are gone now. Uh, I'm guessing that's the wrong way to get to this. Considering that's literally the corner right there. This fire right screen. Oh, hey, native animals. I'll get to those in a moment. Kind of want to get rid of the fire bats first. Also, the doors are locked. Now the doors are open. Hello, Zerglings. Them, and there. There was a typo in that. But no, I don't really think they've been breeding the Zerg. If anything, if the Precursor says anything, they've been having as much trouble with the Zerg, and chances are... Let me lock my cur cursor to this so I can do that. Chances are, they've been trying to keep them as a secret to not incite public panic. But let's kill these things just because. When I say native animals, is when you're out in the open world, you might find a couple of these things just walking around. And they just kind of walk around without purpose. Hey look, another one. They kind of walk around without purpose. And the worst they'll do is get in the way when you're trying to move forward or like get in the way of your army or building. Most of the things ugly as hell. Can I say that? It almost... I think their idea with placing this was to incite a little bit of, um... Thoughts. Ah. It was something I was trying to do, but it just reset itself. Uh, I think placing those there next to the Zerg was trying to incite some 
the thoughts that Arcturus was citing. Like, oh wow, the Confederates are breeding these things? Are using it as a weapon? What? No. What I was trying to do is is something in Warcraft three Warcraft two, I believe in even in Warcraft three, if you clicked on a critter long enough, it would explode. I'm not sure if that's disabled in installation missions where there is no ability to build stuff, therefore you couldn't build a nuclear silo to put down a nuke, but that kind of sounds like uh stretching it a little bit as a reason. I know it took a fair few clicking to do it. That was a vulture, and there was a driver next to it just sitting there. Uh, whoa! Hey. Well, that only injured everybody. Sheesh. Look at everybody's health now. This is gonna be a teleport, right? It's gotta be. I haven't found another way to go. Yeah, it's teleport. I mean, I haven't been doing it, but that was a civilian, not the agent. Hey, turret. But I haven't been doing it because I haven't really felt like I might do a video after the series. But if you click on people long enough, they'll actually start to say silly lines. It is something that the, that Blizzard like to hide in their things. Is in Warcraft 2? I don't know if it was in Warcraft 1 because I never really played that that much because it was way before my time. I always wanted to, I just never have. I might end up doing it one day. Golly, that takes some DOS box magic. That's for sure. But in Warcraft 3 as well, Warcraft 3 is probably my favorite for them. Ow. The nice thing about ghosts, one of the few nice things about ghosts, is their distance to how they can shoot. Hey, no, he's going to die. Aww. In theory, shouldn't there be more stuff over here? Right. Well, you gotta kill everybody. Yes, yes, there was. Our fire bat one. Mainly because he had support, but, you know. I do hope, with my window closed, that someone mowing outside does not come through. Mm. Yeah, and that is the end of the level. There wasn't a whole lot left in the level to move into. And we got the data disk! Yay! Now what's on the data disk, we have no clue. Probably find out later. But, just like that, we did that level! It's only been 13 minutes, so let's go to the next one. In the wake of the chaos resulting from the Zerg invasion, the Sons of Korhal escape with the solid Nada disc. Fleeing to the border colony of Antigua Prime, Arcturus group now planned its next crucial moves against Confederacy. Thirteen hours after the evacuation of Marasar, Protoss warships took up orbit around the colony and unleashed a massive planetary bombardment. All life upon the surface was extinguished. Now, since the evacuation, does that mean the Confederate evacuation, our evacuation, or evacuation of all the the possible civilians. Hey Matt, headquarters has begun analysis of the discs. They expect to have them decoded shortly. I hope whatever's on those discs is worth it. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Minsk. You and Captain Raina have done well, Commander. I believe our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip on the fringe worlds. But our job out here isn't done yet. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second. Get straight to the point. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there under the command of General Duke. It will be your job, Commander, to free this colony and show our good intent to the Antigua people. Lieutenant Kerrigan will help you deal with Duke's officers. The rest of the Confederates are now we need to 
get to meet another plot important character. Anytime Kerrigan. Oh, yeah. And if this is the level that I think of, because it was rather notable in what it made you do. Oh, by the way, I forgot to point out next level. We're now in Core Hall Red instead of Colonial Militia Blue. I always liked how they had the colors. Yeah, I did always like how they did the colors of them being different factions. Especially with how many colors there were. But yeah. Ghosts. Why they have three random missile turrets in the middle besides, besides gameplay expositions beyond me. But ghosts do actually go through a pretty tough thing, from what I remember. But they do get, like, psychic powers and whatnot. And they basically become very nice assassins. Which... I wonder if there's any other vehicle, because I just realized something that I wanted to do. Which, we do have Kerrigan and her skills. She can cloak. Ah, perfect. And all... Ghosts have these two skills. Lockdown. I love Lockdown. They really need Lockdown in StarCraft 2. It's something that's actually missing to take out key targets in that game. But, you know, they decided to get rid of the skill and haven't put it in because they're too proud to admit that they're wrong. Lockdown immobilizes a target, but still allows you to kill it. The target, however, has to be a mechanical unit. Absolutely has to be... So it is entirely useless against, say, the Zerg. But it is useful nonetheless, even though it costs 100 energy, so you can only cast it twice per ghost. And ghosts are not cheap, I will say. And all we need to do is get rid of this bunker. There's a turret here. And then there's no other turrets. Which would then allow Kerrigan to just cloak and walk right through. Gotcha. You could fight all of this, but I think there might be too many... Oh yeah, there's most likely too many and too powerful for you to actually take down by yourself. Unless you're really, really clever with using your two heroes to take to soak up all the fire. And you can decloak and put you in not there. In there? No, in that that one. Yes, now our turrets are shooting at their turrets. Ha. Come on. Die. Some of these turrets got fairly beat up. But that was the first part of this level. The second part. The second part is to build up a force, and the reason why this level was notable is that if I explore around a bit, there is physically no way for you to get your army over to the enemy base without dropships, which is why they give you a starport. Because see, there is nothing. We're actually probably going to need a small fleet of wraiths. Just to hold off their air support. Most likely. What now? Let's get two more people in there. And we'll just keep everybody here. I will however take one of these guys and repair our defenses. Because the confederates will periodically attack. Now because we're on the high ground. They ain't going to get very far. Because since it's still early game. The AI don't actually get a whole lot of proper siege equipment. Also, here's a question. Is it possible to move this closer? 
It very much is. Let's move it a bit closer to the gas. It can't be moved closer to those, but it can still be moved. Okay, everybody just took a moment. If I get a little bit closer to the gas, that'll get gas a little bit quicker, which obviously wraiths are kind of expensive. We're still probably predominantly going to be using marines. I'm not going to get a lot, if any, fire bats because, well, why would I get fire bats when we're fighting other Terrans? I mean, it might be useful if they have a large marine force, but I don't think the AI will have a gigantic marine force that would make any notable amount of fire bats viable. Same exact reason why I do not have, or I am not going to have any bunkers with fire bats. And it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you, I want you to come up in the corner and build an engineering bay. We don't even have an academy to get increased marine range. Well, that is poop. Let's get another marine to even out the numbers. Yeah, the wraiths and the dropships are going to be immensely expensive. The point that I am actually going to get a fourth guy. And we can still only get vultures, most unfortunately. Yes, their base is predominantly down here, and for is not too difficult, maybe? Do you need an academy though, at least? Kinda helps, just a little bit. But what I think I'm going to do is start some of the marines. Now, it's going to be a little bit awkward because normally I'd make control groups. But the way it works here is that dropships can only hold eight units each. Or four of these, of four vultures. Kerrigan will still count as a single singular unit though. She counted as anything more, she'd say we were calling her fat. <laughs> But no, ghosts, ghosts and other infantry only count as one. The vultures and goliaths count as two. And heavy stuff like a siege tank actually count as four. There's just a random guy sitting out there. He's just staring at, staring us down. Hey Jimmy, go deal with it. Did, I don't even think he did any damage. I think he missed. Alright, let's get that. And let's get this. That way we can do a little bit of scanning. See what we can see. And then when I get the resources, build that. Now I could make these guys cloaked. But unfortunately, what the AI generally does is the moment you get the ability to have air units unless you get the heavy air units which we don't have access to yet it's going to be ex incredibly difficult because a couple well-placed missile turrets will wreck an entire fleet of wraiths and due to their cost they're frankly not worth it I mean since they're on an island I'm assuming they're going to have some form of uh, hello. Uh, could you get up here, please? I think I remember them doing that. They they landed four men on that. Yeah, since you're a vehicle, you're going well, not going to take a whole lot of damage. Let's take one of the purple guys. And build a little bit of defense around that. Let's actually get four marines up there. So four, eight, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'll get more wraiths. 
Because I'm going to get a bunker up there. If they're going to drop stuff there... Because... Does it reach all... Does it really reach all the way over here? Really reaches all the way over here. So it would be next to impossible to defend it with missile turrets unless you built like 20 missile turrets. Literally. Okay, maybe more like 10, but still. I'm gonna say six to eight wraiths, maybe. It's going to bunker there, and then another eh, supply depot, just so they have to get all lined up, all nice and pretty. Wait, you ever notice that the colonists are purple? Apparently, colonists come in purple. Who would have guessed? Colonists purple. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. Yes, I'm going to get maybe four or so. Also, could you kindly repair Jimmy? And then repair the starport? Actually, I think I know what I'll do. I w Apparently, my mouse decided to double click at that point in time. There's two people in there. That's three, that's four. You guys get back to mining. Grr. Actually, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Jimmy and Kerrigan with us, but in their dropship, I'm going to put some fire bats. I only amount to five, but I think it might end up being more than enough to deal with anything the game could throw at us. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Did you... I was about to say, did you really get stuck? No, thankfully they did not. I'll build one more here. Uh, oh, I can also get that upgrade. Perfect. Except I got that upgrade, now there's enough minerals to build the supply depot. So I know I'm gonna need it. Uh, let's get one more, so that way we have six. Come on, minerals. Four. I need four more. I'll have six wraiths to deal with anything they could throw at us. In fact, I do actually need another supply depot. Why can't we cut down the trees? We we have guys in giant metal suits cutting through mineral fields, yet we can't cut down trees in order to make more room for buildings. Oh wow, that's actually a notable attack. Kind of. They kind of scratched the paint on this bunker a little bit. It's a shame, too. Okay, that should be good for that, and I can get those. I do also need the fire bats, though. This is true. Uh, give that thing a new paint job on the bottom. Right now, there's a couple bullet holes in there. But let's actually start exploring. I'm going to explore from this end to the other side. Because I, if I recall, there's something I thought I still think is rather silly. They did have anti-air defenses. Ah! Nope, nope, nope. They have, they got Goliaths. Goliaths end up hurting. Okay, apparently attacking their SCV is really called in everybody. Yeah, get ah! That was a dropship. But Goliaths are really good at keeping out air units. Look how much damage he took from three missiles. These guys do crap for damage. 
Six. Okay. Well, that was an experience. Uh, I'm actually going to bring these guys up. Did I send the uh, I sent the other purple guy? I just get someone to repair. Oh no, they killed the purple wraith <laughs> out of all the wraiths to get killed. This is the purple one. What I'm going to do is call it a video here because it's been a little bit longer. But when we come back, we will finish off this Confederate base and most likely go complete a fair chunk of the next level. But that's all for now. Till next time. See you later.